like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars i will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustains me but now oh lord out of shield for me my glory We're about to pray three things now that i'm going to do number one is we're going to pray and cry and say father my life is barren of genuine spiritual power let power from on high that empowers me to be a faithful witness bringing creation bringing correction compelling compliance and bringing salvation to my life and then through me to others you're going to cry desperately like blind Bartimaeus cried when that power comes upon your business it will do what it was sent to do when it comes upon your family to do what it was sent to do you're going to open your mouth and pray no distraction looking on to Jesus you're going to pray from the depth of your heart go ahead and pray power from on high lord release power upon my life upon my christian experience power that causes me to pray power that causes me to serve the purposes of god power that breaks every addiction power that breaks every infirmity someone pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god power that translates me from a failure to a victor in experience someone is praying power from on high power from on high in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i have seen what the power of god can do not just in terms of miracle signs and wonders it takes power to move forward he says moses tell the people that they go forward they were stuck the red sea before them egyptians behind them defeat was imminent but not when power came he said tell the people to go forward and with one blast of his nostrils he parted the red sea hither and tither and the bible says they walked on dry ground so i want you to pray that which must live your life now not tomorrow that which must live your life now not later i like you to agree with god in prayer it lives finally is it that shame is it that reproach someone pray don't doubt don't doubt remember we discuss here extensively on how far god is able to go on account of his saints and that he desires that his power be revealed in the midst of his people this plague this infirmity you must live my life now hallelujah i remember i once prayed for a woman very interesting thing you know how a cancer patient who has gone through chemo you know how sometimes they lose their hair this is what was happening to the woman and she had never gone through chemo just like that 
wonderful beautiful woman began to lose beauty and color because of some demonic thing her hair literally started falling and they went to the hospital and they could not diagnose medically that there was anything wrong there is no limit to how far satan can go to cause pain to believers but the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one hallelujah let me pray for the sick now i want you to lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand for yourself you can stand for your loved ones and i want you to believe i want to minister to you my god i sense such a strong anointing here just lay your hands wherever it is you are trusting god for a miracle please don't allow the devil lie to you and say that's how they prayed for you that day uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. leave that day now you are in his presence lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest or your head you can stand in for your loved one whether they are in the hospital wherever they are jesus something special supernatural about your name jesus something happens thank you jesus he gave us power to pray for the sick to release people from all kinds of bondages and this is why he sent us even here and as i pray for you i want you to shout amen and i'm going to ask you to check yourself don't be ashamed don't be afraid you will marvel and wonder at what the power of god is able to do bringing you healing i'm seeing someone literally burning like fire burning the person from feet to head and it is a process of cleansing it's a spiritual cleansing that is happening at the end of that experience you will find out that every infirmity that has plagued you is living right now living by the spirit of the living god living by the spirit of god now in the name of jesus the son of the living god the resurrected king i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus every spirit of infirmity I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus I command you to give way now in the name of Jesus everyone sick in body I declare be healed now believe it be healed now migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now there's someone god is healing you have frequent urination this can become an embarrassment sometimes you can go to ease yourself so many times and it's something that you've it has embarrassed you again and again the lord is healing you right now the Lord is showing me someone you have very severe pain around your joints not just your knee but your joints I don't know if it's something that is related to your 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 genotype or something but in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing you healing now bringing you healing now bringing you healing now in the name of Jesus I've seen this case before and I've prayed on it I don't know what program quite a number of times you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating producing breast milk in the name of Jesus I don't know what the medical condition is but I declare your healing now your healing now 
there's someone you have some kind of skin infection in fact your back it looks like eczema but it has refused to go this is what i'm seeing in my vision there's some skin infection irritation sometimes it pains you um it itches you very discomforting itch you will know you are healed because the itching stops now the itching stops now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ there is a man here god is showing me a condition this is a condition that is common to men and this is something that if not dealt with sustains the ability to destroy even your marriage but i'm praying healing right now supernatural healing for you high blood pressure goes down now peptic ulcer goes down now if you have any loved one who is in the hospital in the name of jesus i declare cancer dies from their body cancer dies from their body cancer dies from their body healing for kidneys in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a woman you keep taking in and it does not get up to four months there must be a miscarriage and this happens when you have a dream and you start bleeding and that's the end of it i cost that devil now in the name of jesus christ i'm still praying omnipotent father of mercy and grace in this place you went to take your bath and water entered your right ear and from that day till today you still feel as if your ear has not been released it's not like you are not hearing but you know how you feel when there's water there's someone like that with that condition the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now you are not able to bend over backwards properly because there is excruciating pain just at your back right here in the name of jesus i decree and declare that after this prayer life and healing comes for you life and healing comes for you now the lord is showing me someone there, there's somebody here there is a particular food you cannot eat the moment you eat that food is like rashes breaks out of your body i don't know what food that is now you are not able to eat the moment you eat it there is a reaction in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right where you are right where you are you have severe pain heart your heart you are having a serious problem if you lie down on this side and you wake up it's as though blood is not pumping properly in jesus name that manifestation of the spirit of death i cause it from your life now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the resurrected king be healed be healed be healed right now be healed by the power of the holy ghost be healed now the lord is showing me someone ah, i need to pray for you because with what i'm seeing your entire respiratory system is under attack it looks like cough or catar but there is a build up of a lot of things from what i'm seeing this is affecting you because sometimes when you lie down you have to use your mouth to breathe you can't use your nose to breathe this thing can you wake up in the night choking the person i'm talking about in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that plague of death leaves you now that plague of death leaves you now that plague of death leaves you now in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone um this is a periodic occurrence and you were told that it happens when it is rainy season you start having boils at specific parts of your body this is what i'm seeing your legs and sometimes you know your armpit and the rest are, this is what god is showing me certain boils start coming out and they say that it's associated with rainy season in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but i want you to know you are healed now the power of god is touching you right now to the glory of the name of the lord